Hello, everyone, and welcome to iReddit, bringing you your daily dose of the internet for Tuesday, March 13th, 2018. I am Michael Schwann. And I'm Nathan Wood. What? What? You are? Oh, shit. Uh, I'm Libido. Ugh. I'm going to go with Nathan Wood today. <laughs> no. What about Earl E. Bird? Sure, I will accept Earl E. Bird. Please okay. remember, everybody, you can help support this show by going to patreon.com slash daily internet. In addition, we do go live Monday through Thursday at 6 p.m. Alaska time on Facebook. And when it's working, YouTube, uh, it is not working currently, so um, fuck. Otherwise, though, submit stories that you want us to talk about to our subreddit, which is our iReddicast, or send them to us via email, which is feedback.iredit at gmail.com. Earl E. Bird, how are you doing today? Real tired. I am so ready to fall asleep, man. Are you going to go to bed after this? Uh, no. No, because you're going to stay up till 2 a.m. and then be really tired tomorrow as well? Yep. Genius. 100%. How, how can I get to be as logical as you? Uh, well, you see, <clears throat> you start hating yourself a lot more than you already do. How does that improve my logic? Okay. So when you start hating yourself a lot more, you start overthinking things. But when you start overthinking things, you have this like moment where you're like thinking things like perfectly. So you're just like, all right, I'm just going to start thinking things perfectly. And you start overthinking things. And your logic is the best logic because you're thinking about it so much. Perfect. Awesome. I will do that right now. Good. No, I'm not going to do that right now. Damn. Here, let me help you. You fucking suck. Damn it! Uh, what am I supposed to do with this information? How do I overthink that? Uh, okay, so you just start thinking about how much you actually do suck. Got it. Okay. And, and then you continue. Do I add anything to it, or is it just, man, I suck. I'm a pile of garbage. Now keep going. You Abs gotta, like, really, like... Absolute trash. No, and not even, like, fresh steaming garbage. Like, the cold, sad garbage that's, like, halfway ripped open. Like, it didn't even make it to the garbage can. Like, it got ripped on the pavement because I wasn't even worthwhile enough to pick up and throw into the garbage can. All and right. so it's then some detail, but you got to, like, you got to throw some other things instead of just trash out there. Give I me mean, you can, use, you can use synonyms for trash, like Trump and other things. <laughs> I really fucking trumped it today. Yeah, he's trumping it all over the place. That was funny, though. That was good, though. You ready to do some news, buddy? Sure. Awesome. Let's do some news as soon as I hit this button and can figure out which direction my ass is. Five. China is cracking down on pollution like never before, with new green policies so hard-hitting and extensive they can be felt across the world. This is submitted by Wagamaga to our futurology. Wagamaga, huh? What a great age make America great again. Did I get it right? I, I don't know. I don't either. Uh, either way, do, if this doesn't sound like some China propaganda, Wagamaga works for China. That that that, that must be the, the case. He, he's a, a hidden user, a plant. Well, I mean, it looks like China's trying to get a lot of plants anyways, so. Damn! Kind of. I mean, most of their solutions to their pollution problem have actually been more machines. Just these machines, instead of making pollution, take away pollution. But whatever, right? Solution to the pollution. I gotcha. That is, is that like a really bad punk album? No, but it, it's at least yeah, it, it could be. It, it's at least a band name at the very worst. Solution to the pollution. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it'd be post punk. Sure, whichever. Yeah. So, I, question then: What category does my favorite band fit into? Which is Rise Against. Post punk. Post punk. Okay, I love that group. Anyway, so. China is the world's number one contributor to the carbon emissions of the world. Congratulations, China. I would tell you to wear your medal proudly, but we can't see it through all the smog that people yeah, it's, are. It's getting better. They put a giant filter up. One that that cleans a one mile radius <laughs> when it's, right, it's it's getting better. It's <clears throat> the whole country, aside from like one little area where nobody lives. It's all right getting there you know it's getting there and they intend to get there even faster because according to a, a a study done in 2015 the air pollution was so extreme that it contributed to 1.6 million deaths in the country 
That's a lot of deaths. Not for them. I mean, that's just kind of... No, like, it's not. It, it's it's not, very shrimpy for them. That, they have, just, like, three times the number of Americans. They just That's just a drop in the bucket. And that's including immigrants, not just American-Americans, from what most people think Americans are. That said, their new dictator, dictator Xi Zedong, or whatever his name is, I, that, that's the one that he doesn't want to be called, right? I... I don't. I don't know. I, I. I don't know their their leader's name. Anyway, Winnie the Pooh, um, he uh, wants China to be better looked at in the world's eye, and so one of the the two biggest problems that they have one is uh well they're the, they are China, um, and the other one is that they are an extremely unhealthy place. So one of the first things they're going to be looking at is cleaning up all of the pollution that China generates all the damn time. Uh, they are also already one of the world's leading producers of electric vehicles and intend to continue along that path while also installing solar and wind power. Huh. That's real fucking interesting. Yep, China's modernizing everything but the amount of oppression they put on their people. Well, they got to modernize that too. They still got to oppress them peoples, you know? Yeah, just got to get better at it. Mm-hmm. I mean, you have to oppress the people without them realizing they're being oppressed, so take some notes from America, okay? That being said, like, South Korea also really needs to start reducing their smog. I didn't know that South Korea had a uh, a bad pollution problem, do they? Well, if you look at this map, it looks like the concentration in the south is starting to pop up some red spots, so... Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not nearly as bad as, like, China and India, but popping up around there you know yeah. you want to reduce that you want it to be yellows and greens mostly greens need, need to look over it look over at japan yep look at japan japan of course japan it can is like the poster child for everything that we want a lot of things to be in the end like they don't murder each other all the damn time they don't have mass shootings people are really respectful like the amount of well, i mean that they've put a, like centuries and centuries of work into their culture and the amount of respect that is the con the concrete Dear foundation God. at some points you could even call it toxic masculinity but only in certain situations but the the amount of work japan has put in to be such a good place in so many ways now they do have their problems they definitely do have their problems but damn have they made a lot of progress that the rest of the world should really take some notes from for instance they overwork like crazy yeah that's not that's the... something that was caused by america though it's true it's true because a lot of american influence is bad in a lot of ways Mm -hmm. because we don't follow through with our influence a lot of the time adolescent cannabis use is associated with increased risk of psychosis this is submitted by of Ooh, I, 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 bip and pip to our science. Oh yeah, you can get them pip. Yep, sounds good to me. So mm. we already knew this, um, but it is an important thing in the world today as more and more cannabis use becomes both medically available and recreationally available. And this is specifically also mostly looking at not pure use of like C B D oil. Uh, CBD oil is a revolutionary product that is great for damn near fucking everything. Um, this particular study was actually done at specifically looking at uh, kids that were the ages of 15 and 16 um, and that partook in recreational cannabis use. Um, and they showed that there was an increased, and we already knew this, that it can hinder the brain before the, around the age of roughly 25. Um, but like what chemical doesn't that you jam in your brain yeah oh yeah exactly um it's just something that this result came out with um that it has an increased level of psychosis damage and psychological damage that it will cause to the brain uh, especially if you use it in very large amounts which again is not surprising um also which isn't something 15 and 16 year olds should be doing which is why it's a legal age limit of 21 yep but just be aware of that kids you should wait till your brain can handle it I mean, who the fuck yeah, am I kidding? Absolutely. You're going to do whatever the hell you want, but at least at least you've been informed that it's bad for you. I remember smoking at a very young age. Yeah. Yeah, I started I I had first started smoking when I was 12. And then I had persistent regular use from I'd say 16 and older. Yeah. mm Mhm just super readily available because it's such a 
of all of the substances in the world, damn cannabis is like so low on the fucking list of like threatening substances. Mm hmm. Like, I mean, it'll make you hungry. Hungry, uh, happy, sleepy. That's it. Pretty much it. Yeah. Apparently, it can cause psychosis. Psychosis is kind of <clears throat> bad if you can't handle it. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of us have had bouts of psychosis before. That doesn't make it a good thing. No, but, you know, it just, it happens. Yeah. Um, so, either way. Three. Winner of $560 million Powerball can keep her name private, a judge has ruled. Uh, this is submitted by Connor M. to our news. So, uh, we don't know this woman's name, obviously, because her name is private. But she won the largest Powerball in history. Nobody has won more money through the Powerball than this particular Powerball, which is $560 million. Now, um, normally, they say that they're, you know, you're supposed to reveal your name, um, and the reason that they have given for that, that the state says that you're supposed to reveal your name, is to make sure that there is no collusion between somebody that runs the lottery and the people who are buying the tickets. Now, you are able to sign a... Um, a like on the check itself, you can sign the name of the trust uh, instead of your actual name and allowing you to keep your name anonymous. Um, but that you still have to reveal your name to certain people. Now, obviously, you have to reveal your name to like get the money, um, but it, they, they're not allowed to publicize it. And basically, the reason why is because if, 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 if Nathan was given $560 million, the number of people that would show up to him and be like, hey, friend, I need help. I need this. I want this. And I know that you have half a billion dollars. So how about it, friend? The, um, and that's what the judge argued is that the, there would be an alarming amount of harassment, solicitation, and other unwanted communications. And yeah, I bet a bunch of people coming up to me. Hey, remember that time I helped you? I'm like, yo, motherfucker, I already paid that shit off. Yeah. And so the judge has said that she is allowed to stay 100% anonymous when it comes to receiving that $560 million um, just so that she won't be, like, hunted down by even just, like, friends and family. Yeah, no, that's understandable. I, uh, I would not want to be hunted down by a lot of the, my family members. Yeah. She won in New Hampshire, um, which is where – but she, the judge also said that there – is very very little possibility that there was any amount of bad actors in place and she won in new hampshire and the winning numbers are drawn in florida and so they're quite far away um and even beyond that nobody like the people that are at like the lottery commission don't actually know the people that are drawing the numbers because they're supposed to be kept separate um, and because they're allowed to sign anonymously on a check using like a trust name or something like that, that further decredits their argument that her name needs to be released. <coughs> so yeah, if you win a lot of money, you're allowed to say, no, I don't want to, I don't want people to know that I won a lot of money. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, I can, I can agree. It's almost as if it's like, it's almost similar to the, the right to be forgotten, but. Well, and it's also like people are fucking crazy, and the moment that they know that you have a lot of money, they uh, they get weird. Yeah. They get real weird. It's like, oh, hey, we have a chance of getting some of that. It's like, no, you don't. Get the fuck out of here, you losers. Two. Alabama sheriff who arrested man who criticized him pockets $750,000 in jail food funds and buys a $740,000 beach house. Wow. I was submitted by Kasak 8 to our news. This is the story of Etowa County Sheriff Todd Entrickin and his wife, Karen. So his salary is right around $95,000 a year. However, he was able to purchase a three-quarter of a million dollar house as well as several other things, putting his worth up to around two and a half million dollars, and people wondered why. And what he did disclosed it on his uh, ethics paperwork and everything because there is a, a pre-World War II law that says, not now not verbatim of what I'm about to say, 
but there is a certain amount of funds that are put aside to purchase and pay for the food that is given to prisoners, to inmates that are in prison. At the end of the year, any money in that account that is left over is given to the sheriff, if the sheriff chooses to take it. The sheriff is also the one that decides the budget and the funds that go towards inmates' meals. So, if they are able to find extremely cost-effective ways to feed inmates, they get a very large bonus. In this case, $750,000 or something along those lines was put into an account each year um, to feed inmates, and he managed to only spend 500000 of that, so he got the other 250000 That's some bullshit. Yeah, right? It, it's basically encouraging you to fuck over inmates as much as possible. Which is crazy because they're already trading ramen as, as much as packs of cigarettes. Yeah. You can buy ramen on the outside for like 87 cents a package. Cigarettes cost like 10 bucks a carton. Yep. Well, not a carton, like a little box, but you know. Which technically everything he's doing is fucking legal, which is even more baffling. Like, nothing in the prison system should be for profit at all. Nothing yeah. that is a a necessary service to society should be for profit because then all you get is people's drive to provide that service at as little cost as possible, which is why prison – or encourage those things. That's why prisons are full because the prisons want to be full so they get more money. Yeah, it's some bullshit. That's why American health care is so expensive because it is a for – profit system of i get i earn money off well, of that's just that's just how america runs america runs on a for-profit system it shouldn't though like you know like clothes well, sure. that's capitalism michael no it's not it's taking advantage of like basic human needs but if they have a service that they can provide for money why not that's capitalism that is not capitalism plus if it's too expensive they'll just go to somewhere else there isn't another place to go what? No, that, that can't be. It's capitalism. Nope. Capitalism. Nope. So, yeah, the, this this sheriff is making a, an, an extra quarter of a million dollars a year by doing everything he can to make it as cheap as possible to feed prisoners. Some fucked up shit. Yeah, like, I already knew that the prison system was for profit. Like, almost all fucking prisons are for profit prisons. So they want to put you in prison and keep you there as long as possible so they still get money for you being in one of their cells. This, it even goes farther of the, the sheriff himself is part of a for profit prison system. Like, the, the cliche story from, like, TV and movies of, like, the corrupt prison warden surprises me none when shit like this exists. Yeah, it's not a good plot line if it's real life. Give me something, you know, make believe. I don't want based give on me a, a give me a prison warden that is actively trying to get people out of his prison. Sure. But like this is like a gross caricature of what like like it, it, it baffles me that it even exists. Yeah. Yeah, I can understand. One. Trump sex flex Trillerson as state secretary. Well, this is submitted by I Dark Knight to Our World News. You know, I am legitimately sad about this on so many levels. Why? He's a ex Exxon exec. So here, here's the reasons why. One is I we we will not get to say Flex Trillerson nearly as much That's, anymore. Okay, nearly as much. Sure. Yeah, like we might still get to on the rare occasion, but not being the Secretary of State in the Trump administration means that he will not be talked about nearly as much anymore. Which means that Flex Trillerson as the like inside joke of the show is going to die and that makes me sad the other thing that makes me sad and yes i understand that he is an ex-oil mogul or whatever you want to call him um but he is one of the few people in the trump administration that i feel like had a sane mind and was actually comprehending the shit going on around him yeah which is also the reason that he got let go also, yeah, it, and, the, and he found out through fucking twitter yeah in true trump fashion the announcement was made through Twitter. And in addition, he found out through Twitter. Yep. And that's that that that's the the real gist there. So in, in any case, how did this happen? Okay. What what caused Trump to replace Flex Trillerson? Now he, Trump has argued I didn't fire him. I just put somebody else in his job. 
<laughs> because the tweet wasn't actually that he fired Flex Trillerson. It was that he was promoting the current CIA director to be the new Secretary of State. Which also means that Flex Trillerson is no longer the secretary. How, how of do state. you how how do you claim that you're not firing him? You were literally firing. I didn't. Him. I didn't fire him. I just replaced him. <laughs> oh. All right. So where are you putting him? No, that the, the, that that's not been said yet. Yeah, because you're firing him. Anyway, so what? spurred this to happen well for one uh flex trillerson and president of the united states donald trump don't agree on a lot of things and it's not that they don't agree it's that they see things different ways um they like flex trillerson is much more willing to comment on things with a level of affirm uh, affirmation on issues at hand where donald trump obviously is as wishy-washy as fuck um unless it involves building a wall him getting money or him not being involved with some sort of scandal now this actually is a result of that there was a double agent um, that worked for both the the British um, spy agency as the as well as the Russian spy agency um, that was leaking information from the Russians to the Britons, and he got caught and escaped Russia and was living in asylum in Britain. So Chadwick brings up what's being uh, that's being disputed. The part about him being fired via tweet makes significantly more sense considering he canceled his Africa trip, but he also like. I feel like being Secretary of State, it would be a smart idea to cancel your Africa trip after finding out that the president is now willing to speak to North Korea. Well, to, to, there, there's three things on that. Is that one, um, Flex Trillerson has said that he was encouraged by uh, the, the oh, fuck, what, what, what is his title? Uh, the, 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 the head of staff, staff guy, John Kelly, or whatever his yeah. name is. Uh, he was per John, John Kelly called Flex Trillerson and was like, hey, um, some things are going down. You might want to cancel your Africa trip. You might be getting a tweet. Um, and so Flex Trillerson obliged. He canceled his Africa trip. Um, and we do have the tweet that Donald Trump sent out that said, I am promoting the CIA director to, I mean, I think I even have it. Yeah. Mike Pompeo, director of the CIA, will become our new secretary of state. He will do a fantastic job. Thank you to Rex Tillerson for his service. Gina Haspel will become the new director of the CIA and the first woman so chosen. Congratulations to all. Like that, that is a tweet that happened at March 13th this morning at 4.44 a.m. So, yes, he was fired via tweet. That was the first tweet and Tillerson himself said that was the first thing he had heard about it. Um, now, like I said, he, he didn't fire him. He, he just, fired him. He just replaced him. Um, now, there was a double agent whose name escapes me, and I, I, I could look it up, but it, it, it doesn't matter right this moment, um, who him and his wife were found dying on a park bench in Britain. They were rushed to the hospital and found that they— It was him and his daughter. Was it his daughter? It was him and his daughter. Okay. Um, they were rushed to the hospital and found that both of them had been subjected to a military grade level nerve gas, which is not something that you just have or you can just make. It is a very, very specific concoction that all evidence has pointed to the Russian government created it and delivered it to them to kill them because, well, Russia doesn't take kind of traitors. Yeah, because they fucking publicly said that on their television. And then the UK was like, yo, what the fuck? What are we going to do about this? And then they sent and killed another guy who said, well, you know, they've got a list of people. I'm on the list. I'm probably the last one. And then he died. Yep. And so one of, and Donald Trump had been saying, well, we don't know that for certain. Um, you know, we're not going to to make any accusations or anything like that. We'll leave it over to the Britons for the time being. And more evidence came out and more, you know, researching and all this study came out and stuff like that. And Rex Tillerson was like, well, all the evidence says that it's Russia. And with everything that I see here, it was definitely Russia that did it. Um, and then six hours after he made that statement, boom, you've been replaced. Um, now Trump has He's also trying to surround himself in a box of only his own thoughts. Yeah, I mean, people like echo chambers, and Trump is one of the people that really likes echo chambers. He doesn't want anybody to disagree with him on anything. Well, yeah, he has to be right, I guess. But in any case, so now people are like, man, Trump's doing everything he can to protect Russia. Herp derp. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I'm not going to make that call. Um, I mean, Trump does seem to have like wa he, he wants to find common ground with Russia. 
he kind of wants to find common ground with everybody because, well, if you have common ground with them, you can trade and profit off of them. And that's where a lot of Donald Trump's stance is, is what is costing us the most money and what will make um, America the most money. Um, so, which... Well thought. We should probably just get our, you know, we should probably just get our ears unclogged, you know, take the dicks out of them. <laughs> In any case, though, um, so that, and there's been no reason given why Flex Trillerson was uh, replaced. This is the, the... Okay, all right. So Joseph says, actually, there are a few military-level nerve gases that can be made at home. Not only is it a military nerve gas, but there is a public Russia-sponsored television thing that says, hey, it looks like traitors are dying in Britain. Must be the climate. It is the most, like, forward thing saying we fucking murdered him without outright saying it. It's like it's like if they release that interview with OJ saying, what if I did? Well, and also beyond that, whether you can make nerve, level, nerve gases at home, um, the specific concoction that was discovered in the two's bodies is specifically one that has been, like, known to be made in russia in the past you like, can't it, deny that it was russia well i mean you can it's just not gonna like like yeah you it could just doesn't make sense you could deny it but everything says yeah russia killed people they don't like you know especially russia they especially said it they they didn't say it nathan they said it just as much as Trump fired Rex Triller. So. Exactly. All right. Uh, now, we haven't been given an explicit reason why Flex Trillerson was filed, fired, um, but this is what everything seems to kind of point to. Um, him and Trump disagree on a lot of things. Trillerson will make statements about things that Trump won't or Trump doesn't want to. Um, so, yeah, either way. Um, so Chadwick says the most realist thing. He says, I mean, Russia killed him, but it's not like you're going to go to war over someone's ex-spy. It's true. Just because this man died, there's, they're not going to war. There's not going to be two superpowers fighting at each other. What's going to happen is there's going to be sanctions by the UK placed on them, and that's about it. And, and we'll, we'll have to wait and see what happens. I mean, the, the UK is really unhappy about this. Yeah, as they should be. Meanwhile, Russia is gloating with their dick on the fucking table. While you're trying to sit there and eat your dinner, and they're just like, would you look at my penis? It is longer than the sausages you are eating. No. So, we'll see what happens. I, I don't know. Like, there's so many things that are up in the air right now. I mean, there's going to be the meeting between uh, the America, America and both Koreas. Like, what's going to happen with this fucking Russia thing? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't either. Hey, Nathan. Nathan. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. What'd you care about in the last 24 hours? I got four different things. Is, is my is the one I put up there one of them? Because once yeah. you told me what it was, I didn't think you'd care nearly as much anymore. No, 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 no. You you got it really fucking wrong, by the way. But yeah, yeah, I no. did. <laughs> um. The first thing is that the Nightcrawler director's Netflix horror film will star Jake Gyllenhaal and has an amazing cast. This was submitted by Ripped Stallion. Two R movies. Uh, damn. Um, so, Schwan assumed. <laughs> Just throwing me under the bus. Thanks. Nightcrawler from X Men. <laughs> from X Men. I was wrong. True. Though he is. Right now, Nightcrawler is in one of the coolest fucking X-Men teams I have ever laid eyes upon. It includes Gambit. It includes Namor. It includes uh, X-23 Laura as Wolverine now because she's going by Wolverine. And it includes her clone slash little sister who's called the Honey Badger. Fun. Who doesn't have pain. Like, she's uh, cloned to not feel pain. So it's like Wolverine, but, you know, doesn't feel pain. But better. Yeah. So, anyways... Uh, Dan Gilroy, um, who's, who's the guy who directed Nightcrawler, is producing a new horror film for Netflix, and that's really all we know about it, uh, aside from the fact that it's going to star Jake Gyllenhaal, and there's been reports that John Malkovich, Rene Russo, um, David Diggs, Tony Collette, Zawe Ashton, Tom Sturridge, and Natalie Dyer from Stranger Things uh, are going to be in it. So that's that's exciting. 
Um, another thing I cared about was that Monster Hunter World is getting special skins for your character to make you look like Dante from Devil May Cry. Heard about that. The but not the shitty DMC Don school Dante. Right on. Which is fucking exciting. And you get to wield his weapon, but it's a charge blade, which makes me real sad because I just I don't play charge blade. Sure. Um, aside from that, there was a teacher in California who was giving a, a gun lesson class on gun safety. Uh, he is also a police officer, and he fired off his gun by accident, and it shot into the ceiling. Damn. That's not the worst part. The worst part is bullet fragments landed on another, or, uh, hit a kid, and the 17-year-old boy returned home with um, school, with, uh, from school, with blood on his shirt and bullet fragments in his neck. Wow. Guns in school, guys. Great That's plan. That's real, real good. Uh, and then the last thing is Donald Trump proposes that the U.S. have a space force to guard the galaxy. Wait, really? He says, my new, natural, uh, my new national strategy for space recognizes that space is a war-fighting domain. The one thing that I was hoping to be left un, un, pure from from war, and it's already starting to be militaristic, like every single fucking science fiction novel I've read ever. Yeah. Damn. I'm sorry, friend. You just yeah. have you you just have to. I mean, you know, space is. Which the, means that it's going to be easier to get to Mars once I fucking join the military, right? I mean, oh, you you can have your dream. You just have to go outside of, you know, the the Empire's borders is all. I have to go to the fucking Outer Rim? Yeah. Where there's nothing but scavengers and thugs and fucking, uh, fucking, what is it, um, smugglers? Yeah, I'll, I'll just pass. I'm pretty ready to die. Wow. Well. It's coming, Nathan. It's coming. Send my body into space. Actually, send my ashes into space. I'm still turning part of you into a tattoo and a diamond. Uh, that's what you think. I already have that will drafted. Good for you. You are too broke to file it. <laughs> that is not true. I can file a claim or not a, uh, a request for fee exemption. If people were too broke to file their wills, then nothing would get done because only the rich would have wills. I mean, if you're so broke that you can't file a will, what honestly goes in the will? Um, so you could have assets that are worth a ton of money but don't have any money in your account. Oh, you mean like Martin Shkreli? Oh, yeah. Since he's cash broke? Mm-hmm. <laughs> House Intelligence Committee ends investigation, finds no collusion with Russia. This is submitted by politics moderator brought to our politics. So the House Intelligence Committee, as part of, you know, they were doing, in, in addition to the conduction with uh, Robert Mueller and all that, um, this is not that Russia didn't affect the 2016 election. They have just found that there has been no direct collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. That's all this is. There are still people being charged with shitloads of stuff, Um for, as this investigation goes on, there is significant evidence that Russia did try to, one, hurt Hillary Clinton, and two, just affect the United States election as a whole. And there is evidence that shows that they are continuing to, that they are going to continue to do so. They have just decided, after 14 months of investigation, that the Trump campaign was not colluding with Russia. Even though there's still plenty of open leads and all of that stuff. Oh, wait elections are coming up and they can't give that up to democrats so they have to look good sure so um as more information comes out i mean we'll we'll talk about it if necessary uh i didn't want to throw this into one of the top spots because well it doesn't feel super relevant since there's still an investigation being conducted this is just a note in the investigation um, and I, it was something that I felt was important and I wanted to share with everybody, but that's it. Nathan, are you ready to go? That being said, there's a difference between the house investigation and the special counsel investigation. That's true. So there could be something that pops up there. All right, let's get out of here, buddy. If you would consider supporting this show, you and anybody else right, listening. Right, well, real quick. 
Joseph said, I mean, even in Star Trek, space was militarized, but it was militarized to protect us from aliens. I sincerely doubt Trump has a plan to protect us from aliens. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. He's crazy enough. I I feel like feel like it's more for fighting more humans, and that's not the kind of space I don't want to see. Probably I'll we're real good at fighting ourselves. If you see where everyone's brought together in just like in Star Trek. Humans' biggest threat is humans. Where I don't have to worry if Chekhov colluded with Captain Kirk. Exactly. All right. We're going to get out of here, everybody. If you get value out of the show, please consider showing us some some value back. Patreon.com slash Daily Internet. Get more out of the show as we continue to hit more and more goals. That's how we got Nathan to shave. Yeah. His beard is quite full now. Yeah, and I can't wait. But at the same time, I might get a pompadour, and if I do, it'll stay around this size. That'll be great. I think what you have right now is a great size. I uh, Phrasing? Yes, absolutely phrasing. Boom. Uh, anyway, otherwise, follow and share the show. Help us media. Help us media. Help us grow via that by going through social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which are at iReditCast. You can catch video versions on Facebook and YouTube, again, at iReditCast. And you can submit stories that you want us to talk about on our subreddit, which is r slash iReditCast. Or send us an email, which is feedback.iReddit at gmail.com. Ha <laughs> Something different. Otherwise, follow me on social media at Schwan Michael and Nathan at Bimenstein. And, uh, yeah, that's it, everybody. That is your 443rd dose of the internet. I am Michael Schwan. And I'm Nathan Wood. And please remember, everybody. Wait, hold on. Well, I wasn't Nathan Wood. I was early bird. Early bird. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.